Hello and welcome to Men of the Den. My name is Eric and it's Friday. This week on Men of the Den, it's Random Topics Week, and I decided to talk to you about something that was listed on my yearly goals back in January when we did our uh, our goals for the year. Uh, one of the things that I pledged to do was to join a gaming group, and I have done so. I have joined the Pathfinder Society. Um, as a Pathfinder Society gamer, you play a character uh, that you build, uh, the, yourself, uh, based on uh, materials that you own that are part of the Pathfinder system. And uh, a few extra special rules that are uh, outlined in some documents. You get a special number uh, that you can use to identify yourself. Uh, and every time you play, um, you get a sheet that documents, you know, what you've accomplished in your your life as this character. So, um, for instance, I played uh, in this scenario called Rise of the Goblin Guild uh, with my primary character, Marzouk, uh, who is an Ifrit from Rahadum, uh, the godless nation of Rahadum. I even made a little character image of him on Hero Forge. Isn't that cool looking? Uh, he's got his horns and his scimitar. Uh, and a flamey, flamey hair. <clears throat> and uh, because I participated in this particular scenario, the GM uh, gives me a sheet and I build up experience and prestige and fame and money, and I can use those in the future for uh, purchasing equipment and spell casting and God forbid resurrection services in the case that my character dies <laughs> in a scenario. Uh, and it's just super, super cool. It's um, So here in Portland, we have a group called Guardians of Pathfinder and uh, they meet every Friday at Guardian Games. And so I've played there for the last few weeks and uh, my character Marzouk is now level two. Uh, I've played in three sessions with him and that's really exciting. Uh, so I've leveled him up. And um, uh, every scenario that you experience is totally different. Um, there are uh, years of content going back, you know, eight or nine years, and uh, new new material is released like every month, and so you can play something brand new pretty much every time you come into the shop. It's super exciting and super fun, and uh, I've even signed up to GM my own first scenario, uh, I am going to be playing, uh, GMing, uh, as a game master, the Merchant's Wake from Season 5. Uh, the Merchant's Wake, uh, is a story that has intrigue and, uh, a funeral and shit goes down at the funeral, and <laughs> it's just, it's just a really interesting scenario, and, uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun, a lot of fun playing it. But, you're not limited to playing one character, you can play any number of characters, uh, so long as you follow the character creation rules. And uh, so Marzouk, though he is my first character, uh, he is not my only character. I also have uh, created a halfling infernal spellcaster named Joth, uh, <laughs> which... Uh, Sounds horrible, and it uh, it is. He's had a hard life in Cheliax, Joth. Uh, and uh, I also have uh, created Greg or Corgo, uh, the uh, half orc war priest of Iomidae. Uh, and uh, Greg nearly had his ass handed to him last week when we played through the scenario of the Mists of Mwangi, where everyone in the party was paralyzed for. Oh, several rounds, and we all nearly died <laughs> several times. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm playing all these different characters. Um, this week I am debuting my halfling sorcerer, and I'm very excited about that. I hope that he survives his first encounter. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm excited also too to be getting back to playing Marzouk at a new level. And uh, yeah, so if you're interested in doing something. Uh, as part of an organized play system, Pathfinder is really great. Um, 
There's a lot of resources online. Uh, there are hundreds and hundreds of games that take place all over the country. Um, you can go on to Paizo.com, P-A-I-Z-O.com, uh, and look at their calendar of events, or ask at your local gaming store if there's a Pathfinder Society organized play group that meets at that shop. Um, and at conventions, at gaming conventions, Gen Con being the premier among them, Gen Con's coming up. I unfortunately will not be going to Gen Con because we don't have the money to be flying out to Columbus. But uh, Gen Con is like the beginning and end of the seasons for uh, Pathfinder Society, and new systems will be coming. Season 9 will be coming after Gen Con. So, yeah, take a look into it if you're interested in, you know, high fantasy role-playing games. It's a lot of fun. If you're looking to meet new people, it's always a revolving door of people. There's, you know, new characters, new GMs, new stories that take place all over the campaign setting of Galerion and the Inner Sea. And uh, it's just tons and tons of fun. So, that's my video for this week. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to learn more about Pathfinder Society Organized Play, or about Guardians of Pathfinder, the Portland, Oregon uh, chapter of PFS, uh, please go down into the crotch. There will be links down in there uh, for you to learn about how to get involved. And I will see you all next Friday. Cheers!